Hi, welcome back. I'm Jerry here with the Happy Hootie here to save you time and money. If you have, like most people are getting these days, a plug-in electric vehicle, you often are stuck with plugging it into a standard 110 outlet at your home. This can take a long time to charge it. So there is an alternative. You can install a level two charger and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. I was given a level two charger to install and I found it really easy to install myself and I wanted to be able to share with you how I did it. I really like this particular one that we were sent because it could be mounted inside or outside and it came with RFID keys so that if you did mount it outside, you don't have to worry about somebody else stealing your electric, which is super cool. So let's get started and I will show you how easy this is to install. This 50 amp 220 supercharger for your car. This is a high level charger by T-Charge and in the box you get this really nice RFID piece here that will mount on the wall. It's a 25 foot cable, very thick, very nice looking cable. It does come with two RFID keys because this can be mounted inside or outside and if you're mounting it outside this will allow you to be the one that has access so nobody else can steal your charge, which is a great idea. Uh, it does come with this mounting bracket here. If you're using it inside, you can also use these or you can also use an app on your phone. And I'm gonna show you how easy it's gonna be to install this in your garage. Now, one thing you are going to need uh, before you get started is access to a 50 amp 220 line. And I happen to have one right here. I've already run it from a 50 amp from our breaker box over to here. And so I will be mounting this bracket here and wiring this thing up. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and mount this backing plate. It's got some hooks on it. They do provide you with some wall anchors if you're mounting it in sheetrock or if you're just gonna screw it directly into the wood like I am, I'm just gonna need those. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a power screwdriver here to go ahead and get that driven in the wall. And you wanna know what, make that about as level as you can as we're putting that in here. Now that we've got that mounting bracket, it's just gonna hook right into here on the back side of this. It's got two, two holes that just lock that into place. So now that's mounted firmly on there. I'm gonna go ahead and set that cord down for a second and I'm gonna to have to remove this front plate so that I can go ahead and wire this into here and I'll show you how we're gonna do that next. You've got a little Torx head screw, a little security screw bit here on the bottom and they provide you with this. You're gonna insert that in there and just take this piece off. You're gonna to wanna to hang on to this screw so you can put it back in there. Now that we get this, use a flathead screw and just you're gonna popping this off. We'll pop this front cover off here. There's a couple little notches to help get you started. You're gonna set that aside and then using a Phillips head screwdriver, you're gonna go ahead and remove these six screws that are in here. You got the front cover off and it's got a couple of different ports in here. This first one is to see you can attach an ethernet cord into here and have access underneath to attach an ethernet cord. There's also another smaller auxiliary place there. And if you take off this big one on the left, it gives you a large access hole that you can then feed the line up into there as well, which is what I'm gonna use. We're gonna go ahead and send these up through here like this. So when you're using four wire system that's got the neutral line, what they want you to do is go ahead and cap that off, which I'm gonna do, and then to connect your hot lines, one to the L1 and L2, and then you uh, got your ground cable there. I'm gonna go ahead and cap this off and flip on the breaker and put the cover back on, and we're gonna show you how easy this is to charge. So I got the 50 amp breaker turned back on. It's solid blue, which means it's in standby mode. Now this has got a nice little holster on the side that you got to pull this trigger to unlock. And now you've got your, your nice uh, charger here again, along with this great cord. This thing is a super thick cable. I'm really impressed with that. So it should last quite a while. We're gonna go ahead and pull this over here and I'm gonna plug it in to my Volvo here. Locks right in, it's lit up, it shows that it does have connection but it's not charging. Why is that? Because this is flashing, showing that it's prepped, ready to charge, but it's not gonna charge until you activate it either with the app or use this RFID piece. Now it's gonna allow it to go ahead and pass the charge through. And so now it can be charging. So that if you're plugging this in outside, again, nobody's gonna come up and steal your charge. So that's a really neat feature. I do hope you found that helpful. It's a great way to, again, save you time and money from having to stop by one of those superchargers to fill up your car. If you did find it helpful, please feel free to go down below, click like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time.